Hey Fisayo. Hey, what's up Fisayo? This is Henry Neal. Hey Fisayo, what's up YouTube? It's Eric here. Hi Fisayo, Emmanuel from Geekception here. Hey Fisayo, Miss Techie here. Hi Fisayo. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Victor Kamanga, also known as Everything Technology by my YouTube channel. Shout out to my fellow brother Fisayo. Hey, what's up guys? It's Fisayo here and I reached out to a couple of my friends who are also some of my favorite tech YouTubers and this video is all about apps. We're talking about our favorite apps of 2018 and that is that one novel app that we found very useful or very interesting. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So I'm going to kick off this video with my own favorite app that is vSplitter on the App Store or Video Splitter on the Play Store. So what this app does is pretty simple. For instance, on Twitter, you only get 140 seconds of video upload for mobile and on Instagram, you only get a minute of video post on your page. Now where VidSplitter comes in is that it helps you to split video in number of seconds that you want or number of minutes that you want. So for instance, you can upload like a two minute video on Instagram into a one minute carousel post, or you can make a video thread on Twitter, however you like, or you can split your video into 15 seconds each for Instagram or WhatsApp stories. That's pretty much it for my own favorite app. And I'm going to pass the baton to the others to talk about their favorite apps. If you saw your mistake yet, and one of my best applications in 2018 is if this, then that. Now, IFTTT, which means if this happens, then do this, allows you to automate most of the things you do on your smartphone so you can get more done in less time. Now, the application works with a lot of third party platforms like Spotify, Twitter, and basically all the major platforms that exist. So, here is how it works. The application comes with a lot of pre-installed scripts that you can use. For example, you can tell it to automatically save every Facebook post you are tagged in. Since most of us don't, you know, visit Facebook anymore, you can even make it turn on your TV using Google Assistant. Heck, I can even tell it to post my Instagram photos as full images on Twitter instead of as a link. Guys, I can't even cover all the things this guy can do in this video but yeah it is available on both the play store and the app store hi fisayo my best app of 2018 is definitely going to be adobe spark post adobe spark post is a graphic design app this app is very intuitive if you want to design posts for instagram twitter facebook youtube this is the app you need to go to it's simple you can simply import photos it has a number of animation features it has a number of templates you can choose from so if you want to modify any of your templates all you have to do is click it and then you can modify it it works offline so you don't need to be connected to the internet to do an edit and even though if you're connected to the internet you have a variety i mean you have a ton of templates to choose from if you're offline you still have access to some templates so if you to ask me my best app of 2018 it's definitely going to be adobe spark post hey fisaya what's up youtube it's eric here and this is my favorite app of 2018 it's called over and it's a social media branding tool for editing posters creating thumbnails cover arts etc now you have a template for all the popular social media platforms and you get some funds to choose from for free though most of them are paid the free ones are cool too now over is very useful for someone who wants to build a social media brand with nothing but a smartphone and it's available on app store and play store so head over there and check it out hey what's up fisayo this is henry neil and my favorite app of 2018 is an app called video that it's a very versatile app for video downloads over the internet and i think it's one of the best tools i've ever had on a smartphone so how does video that work well let's get straight into it now video is a simple app that you can download videos from it's a very nifty and handy tool that i found myself using over and over again because of the simplicity of use and because of its versatility in helping me get videos and audio off the web so how does video work you have a couple of sites here that you can download from but you can view more sites that you can get videos off from and if you have an extra site you can simply add a new site in here. Here's a video I like. I'd like to get just a clip from it. So I hit the little red button here and I choose the format in which I want to download this video in. So let's choose the 240p for example now. And I hit the download button and it takes me to the download page and you can see automatically it starts to download the video. If you just want to get the audio file from this video, you also have the option to do just that. 
So Videoda is my favorite app for 2018. It's really handy and it does what it says it does. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Victor Kamanga, also known as Everything Technology by my YouTube channel. Shout out to my fellow brother Fisayo for including me. I'm actually um, from Kenya, born in Kenya, but um, obviously raised in America. That's why I have the American accent. But anyway, that doesn't matter. You're not here for that. Um, my favorite application this year is definitely the Adobe Spark Post app. And the reason I'm looking at my phone is that you should be able to see my screen right now. So the Spark Post app allows you to um, create content for social media platforms. And it's actually free to download, so you don't need a Creative Cloud subscription or anything like that. It's completely free. So on the application, as you can see here, they have plenty of templates. Um, on the featured section, you have whatever is happening or whatever season you're in. Right now, we're in the holidays, so you have a whole bunch of posts um, correlated to the holidays. So if I want to click on this, I can adjust that. But I've actually used this for anywhere from thumbnails to pictures for Facebook or Instagram. I've used it for a lot of different things. And here's actually some posts that I've created using it. Um, so actually, one of my past vlogs that I did in Seattle, the thumbnail was created on here. And actually, my latest video on the Everything Technology YouTube channel um, the thumbnail was created on here as well. Super useful for stuff like that. And right now I'm gonna show you how quick you can create something super professional to look like you worked on for hours on, but you really just spent like a couple minutes and you did it straight off your phone. I want it in portrait mode. As you can see here, they have different formats depending on where you wanna post it. Let's go to designs. Let's see what designs I have. Oh, I like this one. Okay, we're gonna choose this. We're gonna probably call it um, Instagram picture. I'm definitely not gonna post this. I'm not gonna post a picture on Instagram that says Instagram pig. But this is just a quick example of what you can do on here. Um, and this looks pretty professional. I don't like this text, so I'm probably gonna change the font of it. Okay, I like this font. I'm gonna choose that font. And you can actually even add effect, which is pretty cool, and where it fades in. So I'm probably gonna have the fade in effect um, video since it has a little animation that I added. Um, boom, loading. And we're ready to post this on social media. Let's actually open up my camera roll and you should be able to see that on there and boom that fast that was less than a minute um yeah check out this application available both on the google play as well as the apple app store it's completely free to download again thanks Fisayo, for having me part of this collab thanks for watching hope to see you on my channel Hi Fisayo, Emmanuel from Geekception here and thank you for having me on this collab. Now getting right into it, the app I'm going to be showcasing today and the app I've used the most this year 2018 is Fortune City. Now Fortune City is a gamified finance app which I use to track my spending. Now what does that even mean? Well let's get into it. Basically this is how Fortune City works. You can track your spending by entering the purchase under different categories. Now available categories include food, drink, medical transport and more now in case you know the options you want are not there you can actually create your own custom subcategories as well which is pretty sweet now after all of this is done a building of the category you recorded is created so the more you spend the more buildings you create now just like in the real world fortune city also has citizens and in fortune city you can recruit citizens to your city after recruitment you can then assign citizens to different types of buildings all also, when you have two buildings of the same type, you can then upgrade it to the next level, which is pretty sweet because you can keep upgrading as long as you have two buildings of the same type and of the same level. All of this means that your city generates income and the more buildings you have, the more money you have in your account. Just like a real economy, you can upgrade your finance for a bigger bank account, economy for more variety and livelihood for more VIP citizens. There is also a cool social component where you can invite your friends and see how you stack up against them. As an added bonus, you can also visit your friend's city and see how you know they've laid out their own city. Now, all of this together makes Fortune City the one app that I use after every single purchase which means I use it multiple times a day thanks to Fortune City I can see which areas I'm spending my money and perhaps see if I should cut down some of you know my spending now Fortune City is available both on iOS and on Android for free and there you have it that has been my favorite app of the year. Again, thank you Fisaya for having me on here and a huge shout out to everybody else on the collab. And in case you haven't, do check out Geekception. And that is it. Carry it away Fisayo. Hey Fisayo, one of my best apps of 2018 is called Morphin and it's a little different. You open it up, take a photo of yourself and it will superimpose your face 
onto your favourite GIF. I was not expecting it to work as well as it does, and these things get some pretty hilarious reactions when you share them with your friends. That's me done for now, thanks a lot for having me, and I'll see you guys around. And that's pretty much it guys, those are some of our best apps of 2018, some useful and very interesting apps. If you want to download those apps, the links will be in the description. Also guys, make sure you check out my friends featured in this video and subscribe to their channels with the link in the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you loved it, you can share this video, share this video. I also made two videos this year highlighting some of my top 10 favorite apps. That's 20 apps. If you want to watch that, the links will be in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.